Hey everybody, Tony Whiteside here. Um, everybody's been wanting to know if I was going to come out with a Rush 750 battery tray. The answer is yes. Here's the battery tray. Here's the slots for 6S, 12S, and your 14S, and so on. And on the back of this here is a dollar in a uh, piece right here, and a dollar in spacer, kind of a tolerance thing. I'll explain that in a second too here. And look how beautiful this is, guys. It's heli freaked out, baby, heli freak. And the machining is just freaking awesome. It's shiny, it's like Harley Davidson bling or something. It's really cool. And uh, of course we got some dollar in here. So the carbon fiber slides nicely into there and stuff like that. You have aluminum wings here. It so happens you ever bend one something, uh, you know, you can't bend it back, which I don't see why you really couldn't bend them back, but that's not into you. I just don't think that's gonna happen yet. Um, but anyway, they built in nice. Tolerance is really nice too on that. Everything snaps in really pretty. And and you'll notice right here too, we have some tapers and stuff like that. And what that is, guys, is I was saying that we had that little dollar in piece here. Well, these little tapers, instead of just button like you would on this side, trying to make sure you was going in there perfect, well, it just kind of lets you be sloppy and just lets you rattle it right in. Your ears line right up. And start sliding in at the same time that dollar and piece on that carbon fiber tray does another thing it planes across all this straight across right here to keep it perfectly in line these rails right here are forcing this carbon to stay in line also so when you go to the back right there it just engages perfect you slide it all the way back once you fill its seat you drop your pin in put your carter key in and that's it you pop that in pull it back out get your next set of packs if you got another tray and slide them back in and out guys you're probably talking 10 seconds or so uh to get your packs in and out now i just think it's really pretty i'm liking it i can't wait to get myself a few more trays to be honest with you but um anyway let's go over here and talk about the batteries configurations and stuff that you might want to run in your rush uh, there's a few people that are into, excuse me, success. So I went ahead and made that available. Why not? So I'm slap a piece of Velcro in there. Like I said, I only had two trays. Show you how success fits. Of course, it slides in like silk. Drop your pin in. Right back out. If you want more clearance, which is plenty underneath there, you can have lots of room if you want to lay it down flat. Um, let's go ahead and jump to just a pulse packs that are regular 5000s, kind of elongated pack. No problem, still plenty of clearance. If you want more, you can flip them sideways, no problem. And as you can see, the Velcro is really going to get a good bite around these here. And then we have um, a lot of complaints of, you know, how tough these were to really mount in the side of a helicopter. And, you know, it works on the 750, but um, it, it's really tight top to bottom. So we did here fix it to where you can, uh, you know, lay them down flat and really get a lot of clearance. And just cranky strap around here on both sides. Slides in. All right, let's get to the big boy stuff. Ooh, ooh. Now we have these um, 7S pulse packs. And I'm ready to really get this rolling on this 750 Rush. Oh man. Anyway. Make you slide in. Drop your pin in. Carter in. I'm not going to bore you with that anyway. Sorry I didn't have the Velcro, like I said before. It's just too many different battery configurations and not enough trays. Um, everybody wants to know, hey, did you get rid of all the triple spacers and all that stuff? Uh, yes, I did. So um, they're all gone. All the plates are gone, all those goodies. So now you'll have um, a spacer here, a spacer here, and a spacer here. And then the other spacers that were below here, well, they're just going to bolt into the side of the tray now. And excuse these notches. This is from prototyping. Uh, there is no cutting needed. It will be 100% bolt on. It will come with every piece you need to assemble this and put it on the helicopter. 
and one tray and three of um, three spacers and your pin to lock it and that's what it all come with guys and then, uh, matter of fact I really believe it made the bottom of this super super rigid I haven't doinked it in hard I have put it in a little bit but not not hard enough to uh, to really see how rigid it is but I'm sure it's gonna do great uh, but there it is guys you've been wanting it she's here